Hey everybody and welcome to the Unlock Show. I'm Tracy Wilson and I'm joined today with a very special guest. Now I want to just make sure because I'm in a completely different location today. We are outside and I want to make sure that you guys can actually hear us okay. So can you just let me know that you can actually hear me? Just type to me in the chat box and let me know that uh, my mic is working okay. I'm just going to double check my mic and make sure that this audio is working well. So if you guys could just let me know, that would be great. I'm just going to wait a minute today and just make sure that uh, this audio is working because, like I said, we're outside today in the wilderness, out in nature. Can you guys just let me know that you can actually hear me and just uh, type to me in the chat box and let me know that you're actually able to. Your mic is working okay and our sound is great. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Well, welcome, guys. Welcome to the Unlock Show. Like I said earlier in the week, I was going to take you guys to a, a special location. So we are out. We are in, uh, we're in nature today. I've got a very, very special guest with me today, and I'll introduce you to her in just a moment. So today, because I'm outside, you might be hearing the birds chirping in the background and those sound, sort of sound Sounds like flying geese, but um, you know, you've got all sorts of stuff going on, cars going past, and people at, at a campground that we are currently at. And if you're watching the Unlock Show, you're probably watching us right now inside of the business a, a success secrets for business, family, and life inside of the Facebook group. And if you are not, then I would highly recommend you get yourself on over there and you join our amazing group with all sorts of different um, entrepreneurs in there who are sharing different topics on you know, tips, tools, and uh, resources on all sorts of different topics. Now, as you know, the Unlock Show is all about being unlocked, living your life in an unlocked manner, enabling you to create whatever it is you want in your life, whether that be, you know, going to five-star hotels or at some sometimes, you know, you might want to rough it and get out into, uh, get out into, um, into nature itself. So let me introduce you to my very special guest today. So we're out on location. This is Miss Jada Wilson. Jada, do you want to say hello to everybody? Hello. You've got to talk really loud. Remember, we, talk, we talked a little bit about this before we jumped on the show so that everybody can hear you because right now they're all watching on Facebook, on YouTube, and uh, on and Instagram. They're looking at lots of different, different, uh, different places that they're watching us. So we've got to make sure that we talk nice and loud. So say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Fantastic. So I've invited Jada to come along with us today because we are currently out on a family camping trip. And I told her that I was doing the show today. And she said, Nan, can I be on the show with you? I said, of course you can. So she's going to be my special co-host today. And uh, we're going to be talking about, what are we going to talk about? Family traditions. And what else? Um, Where we're at. And what else? Where they say Jada rocks. Are. Where we are. <laughs> We're going to talk about how to create a strong family unit that actually supports your entrepreneurial journey. So I know that this is something that I've spoken about before and in, like I said in the Unlock Show, we're all about giving you um, tips, tools and resources to help you thrive across both your business, your family and life in general. So today I thought I'd give you a little bit of an insight into my family and some of the things that we get up to. Um, there's about 10 of us here right now. We are currently, where are we babe? Um, we're at Somerset. We're at Somerset Dam. Yeah, and that's in Queensland of Australia. And we've set up uh, camp here. There's about 10, uh, 10 adults here and a couple of kids, and we've got a few other family members joining us uh, this afternoon. And last night, what sort of things did we get up to? We saw the stars. We did see the stars. So, you know, it's really important that when you're building um, – building a business that you make sure that you just don't solely focus on your business. I'm a firm believer in making sure that your business supports your family and it also supports your life and everything that you do in your business I think should center around that and you bring all of you to all facets of that whether it be your family or to your business or to your life in general and blending all of them together makes for a really something really special. 
So what Jada and I were talking about a little bit earlier before we jumped on uh, today was like the sorts of things that we do in our family to keep a really strong unit. Um, so as you know, I've got three sons, they're all uh, growing up now and it's really important to me that we remain really tight as a family unit and that uh, being able to do that has meant that I've also got a lot of support from family members to enable me to do what I need to do in my business. Um, quite often they'll come over on the weekend or come over during the week for dinner and what have you. And what's Nan usually doing? When working. You come? Usually working. And what do you usually do? Um, playing with Carter. You play with Carter and then wait for Nan till I'm finished and then yeah. we play, right? Yeah, so I find it's really important that we allow time for our family because when you do that, it means that you get a nice balance. Um, and I suppose the difference being that when you've, you know, when you've got a nine to five job, it's not always easy to be able to ask the boss for time off to go and do what you want to do. But when you you're able to build your business that supports and fuels your life and your family, it means that you're able to pack up, grab your computer, grab your mobile phone, and uh, as long as you've got internet reception, well, you can pretty much work from anywhere. And I've chosen to work from Somerset Dam uh, this week. COVID-19 obviously is a big thing around you know, in the entire world and it's impacting a lot of families and a lot of businesses. So it's really important that we utilise things like technology and being able to get away in your own little family bubbles to maintain some form of, you know, family connection. And we've got, you know, midges and bugs here too, so you've got to have plenty of bug spray. But, um, you know, really important that you maintain that that connection and you utilize technology to help you do so. So um, I thought Jada wanted to talk about a number of things. She asked, she said, now can we talk about, what was the thing you wanted to talk about? Um, where we are. Yep. And what else? Family traditions. So let's talk about our family traditions. So like I said, one of the things that we want to make sure that we always do is that we keep our family connected. And what sort of things do we do in our family to make sure that we stay connected? We have dinner at your place. And when do we do that? At Sunday dinners. And what happens during Sunday dinner? Um, and we cook together and then, um, then we eat food. We do. We <laughs> eat lots of yummy food, don't yeah. we? Yeah. And what other things do we do? Um, we play games. We play games, yep. And what does that mean to you? What does it mean to you when you come and have family dinner with everybody? I don't really know. And how does it make you feel? Um, happy. Yep. And is it nice having a big family? Yeah. Yeah. And what? And who comes normally? Who comes to our place for family dinner? Um. Us, um, you because you live there, and um, Uncle Liam, Uncle Nico. Yep, and Auntie, Nancy. and all the other kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Auntie Nicola and Uncle Walker and all the kids. So, on a, so we've started this family tradition and... Um, you know, as my kids grew a bit older, it was one of the things that John and I were, you know, really thought about is how do we maintain a family unit? How do we stay strong? And how do we make sure that, you know, our family can stay connected all the time? So we started this, it actually all started through us creating a business together. So through some of the things that I've learned in marketing, um, one of the things we started was having everybody together on a Sunday and we started building out a business that we wanted to do together as a family. And that was one of the, you know, one of the ways that we were keeping everyone together. And as a result of that, because it was happening every single Sunday, we extended that to then become family dinner. And that was a few um, years ago. That has become a family tradition for us. We do it every single Sunday. We either, they come to our place or we go to somebody else's house in, in the family. And we um, we pretty much go around the world with various different, you know, foods that we would cook. And we just share a lot of fun times and create a lot of memories for them. What's the, your most favourite thing to do? Um... Go to your house and have dinner. Is it? it's big. Because it's big. Okay, that's cool. And you get to create lots of memories, don't you? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So, you know, especially for little ones, when, you know, when you're a little bit older, um, it's always nice to, to 
you know, stay connected with your kids and, you know, maintain really good and build really good relationships with your grandchildren and the like and your extended family. And we're lucky enough to come from a very extended family. But, you know, for the kids, it creates a lot of memories. So if you think about, you know, the things that you remember as a youngster and the things that you remember doing and how they were built and usually around family and people getting together and enjoying fun times and playing games you know it's a, how do you recreate that now so really thinking hard about how we do that and i believe that you know by creating families that are connected it means that you know you you're going to have less um you know depression and less um issues because people have got you know other people surrounding them putting their arms around them and making sure that everybody's okay so that's one of the things that john and i've been really purposeful in uh in creating our family and and how we do that um and like i said today we're out at somerset dam we're going to be doing so everybody is uh camping um i've got all all the grandchildren well two grandchildren that i have so jada and carter are both here and uh, I think Carter is on his way over here in just a moment. So you might see him just just uh, jump in the background here. But here he is. So he's come to say hello too. He always likes to get in on the action. So um, this is this is the kids and this is what we get up to. So today we're heading out. We're going to go, oopsies. And there you go. That's what happens when kids touch the screen. So let's just see if we can refine our, there we go. He just touched the screen and it moved us off. So, but that's what happens. That's life, right? That's what kids do. They come and they touch and they play. So, um, we're heading out and we're going to, um, we're going to take the boat out. We've got all the camping gear here. I'll turn this around. You'll see them all. They're all sitting really, really quietly because yeah. none of them wanted to be on camera today. But I'll show you our little, our little <laughs> setup. So, this is where we are. It's Jada. We had the campfire last night. Um, just beyond those trees there is um, the dam, which we can swim and, and play in. It's a beautiful day here. So here's everybody. Wave. Hi, everyone. And they're all like, no, don't show us. Um, but, yeah, so it's winter time here, and it's not normally a, a very good, you know, it's, it's usually a bit cold, but it's been, we've picked, like, the best weekend to come away. It's absolutely beautiful. It's going to be about 28 degrees here. Um, over the next couple of days. We are expecting a storm, I think, tomorrow night, so we'll prepare well for that. But other than that, we've um, we've got a number of things going on, so we might just go for a little bit of a walk and show you guys around the camp. Most of you guys will know that um, the last couple of years I've spent many, uh, many a travel going back and forth to America, and uh, one of the things that you know I'm not able to do at the moment is travel and see a lot of my, my friends and colleagues that are in America and go to a lot of the events that I... Um, that I had become accustomed to going to. So I've had to bring a little bit of America uh, here with us camping. So I'm going to show you what we've made. But in America, when I was over there, pop up, I'm going to have a look. So whilst I was over in, whilst I was in America, I remember going to a lot of the pubs over there and uh, they played this game called Corn in the Hole. It wasn't something that I was familiar with here in Australia. And I'll just try and find where they put it. Oh, they've moved it. So right now, uh, We've created the, our own version of corn in the hole. And I'll just move this out the road for a second. Because currently, our corn in the hole is also doubling as a solar panel. Uh, it's a solar panel. Um, but there you go. There's Carter. There's our corn in the hole. We've created it. We've created our own version of State of Origin with um, Queensland versus New South Wales. And Jada's got her corn sacks there and she's going to have a little bit of a go oh nearly bub so this is the camp you can see that um this, later this afternoon we're expecting i don't know loads of neighbors but we've got plenty of space here all the cars will go for a bit of a walk down here you can see the guys in the background there with everything oh i've got another little mate coming with me <laughs> but just down here you've got got the water you can just see that just beyond the trees there just down there and so we'll take the boat out and the kids will go fishing and crabbing and doing all sorts of stuff later on this afternoon so anyway we thought we would just jump on today a little bit of a different show I know um, you know not my traditional at home all made up and uh, talking about you know step by step how you do something but this is how we do family this is the sort of stuff that we get up to 
Um, it's, you know, I'm in my absolute element when I've got all my kids and my family together. Um, you know, they mean a lot to me. Um, and if I can build my business around being able to do all the things that I thoroughly enjoy doing, which is enabling me to bring my family together, then, you know, then it's a, then it makes things all worthwhile. And like I said, one of the things that um, I also like to do is a lot of my clients end up being my family too. So, you know, when you can love them up uh, just as much as you do your family, that creates for a really um, uh, something really amazing and something that you enjoy waking up and uh, doing each and every day. So if you're not currently doing that, I would encourage you to just find the thing that lights you up, find the thing that makes you want to get up in the morning and there they are there makes you want to get up in the morning once you makes you want to create a legacy makes you want to do something different and um yeah and just go do it you know don't live your life locked up and feeling like you can't do the things that you want to do unleash yourself go do the stuff make the changes now and just live life to the to the max. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. It's a bit of a short show today, but uh, I'm going to head off and I'm going to go and hang out with the family and I'm going to be back next week. Wednesday's the day. So for you guys that are watching in Australia, you'll see me online every Wednesday, uh, Wednesdays and Fridays. So you just never know, Jada might come and uh, come and do another show with me. She's been nagging me actually. Nam, we should do a show together. So um, we will just see. So my little entrepreneur in the making. So anyway, guys, have a fantastic week. I will look forward to seeing you guys back again. I'll be back on the show Unlock with Tracy Wilson on Wednesdays and Fridays. And as you know, you can also download these versions on uh, – I've also got a podcast, so you can listen to these on the podcast. And if you've got any questions whatsoever, I love to answer those. So head on over to either the Metadime channel, or which is metadimedigitalco.com, or to my Tracy and Wilson site and just shoot me off a message and let me know what you would like me to talk about and I will make sure that I answer your questions live on a show soon and you'll even get a bit of a shout out. So let me know what your business is so I can shout you out and uh, make sure that I let everybody know who you are. So have a fantastic weekend uh, and I'll see you guys back again next week. See you guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay,